Prof. Dominic, can you share with us some successful industry cases of water pinch analysis? Sure. Perhaps uh, let me share the slides a bit. There are various industry cases uh, being reported in different parts of the world. I'm showing some of those that I was involved with. This is paper milling process in Malaysia, one of the paper mill in Malaysia. They have an existing uh, water recycling system. You can see that uh, water being utilized in different parts and then being recycled. But the water consumption is still quite high. Then, uh, before we actually step in, the water consumption, you can see that the uh, values in red color is uh, near to 2,000 tons per hour. So when we did a brief water case, uh, water pinch analysis, it actually can help to reduce uh, fresh water to 85% and uh, wastewater to 100%. However, this is using um, what we call the grassroots design method, meaning that we have to redesign the whole plant, uh, which is not too practical because it's already a plant that is in, in practice is, is running in operation. If you have to redesign the whole thing, the plant has to shut down for a few months, so not too realistic. So in fact, we actually move on to do it using a different approach. Uh, the table here shows us that this is the uh, comparison of different, different scenarios. We adopted a retrofit approach, meaning that rather than saving to the maximum extent, because water pinch analysis can identify the minimum water usage, we do not adopt for that because even though it can save us the minimum fresh water, you can see scenario one, the result that it box out 500, uh, 852, that is the minimum fresh water scenario, scenario one, okay? Uh, but doing this means that you have to change many, many piping and the capital investment is quite high as well. Uh, you can see in the fifth column, uh, 115,000, so it's quite huge investment, uh, not likely to be implemented. So we opt for other options for example, you look at scenario three with the minimum capital investment, uh, the water saving is not too bad. Okay, uh, it's higher than the minimum, but uh, capital cost is relatively lower. Okay, uh, different options will give you different uh, scenario. Uh, the different water saving scenario. Uh, you can opt for minimum fresh water, minimum pipeline. Uh, by the way, minimum pipeline is scenario three. You touch the minimum piping connection. Sometimes you need to remove certain pipeline, sometimes you add certain pipeline. So different scenario will give you different options in terms of saving. So then it's up to the authority to see which one they can adopt to do the situation.